Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover this question from Chapter 8, Rotational Motion in Physics. So let's read the question. A uniform disk turns at 3.3 revolution per second around the less central axis. A non-rotating rod of the same mass as the disk and length equal to the disk's diameter is dropping onto the freely spinning disk, like the figure 8-56 over here. Then they turn together around the axis with their centers superposed. What is the angular frequency in revolutions per second of the combination? First of all, we should remember that the angular momentum which is L um, inertia times omega, this angular momentum of the disk rod combination um, combination will be conserved, right? Because there is no any external meek since there is no external torques on the combination. And always, always remember that um, unless there is a any external torques or forces on the combination or on the masses on the objects, then there will be the angular momentum of the disks will be conserved. And you can also comment that this situation is a totally inelastic collision. So it will be a situation in which the final angular velocity is same for um, both the disk and the rod. And let's say that L1 equals L2 because the angular momentum is conserved. And L1 would be the um, angular momentum before the collision and L2 being after the collision. So this means that L1 before the collision is when there is no combination and there is only the angular momentum of the disk. And L2, because it is the angular momentum after the collision, there will be disk and rods included in these um, values. And also always remember because L equals I times omega, we could this value, this formula could be changed to um, I1 times omega 1 equals I2 omega 2. And if we organize this formula with omega 2 being on the left, it will be omega 2 equals omega 1 times um, omega 1 over, over I2. And then this would be omega 1 and I would be the disk, right? So I disk, I1 would be the disk, and I2 would be disk and the road, so it would be I disk plus I road. And this would be um, omega 1, the disk would be, the initial inertia of the disk, rotation inertia of the disk would be found as 1 over 2 m r square, and the same m r square. And from the rods, it would be um, 1 over 12 m, and for the r, it is said that the length is equal to the disk diameter, so it would be 2r squared. And let's simplify this value, so it would be something like plus 12 1m4r squared, which is equal to 12 6m squared plus m 4 m R square, so it will be 12 in 10 m r square, and you will have this. So if you do this over this, it will be something that looks like omega 1 times 20 m r square and 12 m r square. So you would have your m r square being cancelled out like this, and if you simplify these values, it will be um, omega 1 times. 3 over 5, right? And we have the value of the omega 1 as 3.7 revolution per second. So let's just substitute that value into this. It will be 3.3 revolution per second and 3 over 5, which will be equal to 2.0 revolution per second. Yeah. And so this will be the end of the video, and thanks for watching.